just want to tell you that you are very valuable and you are very unique and that's the one thing I want to tell you. Find your true value and, and actually heal your broken heart. Find back to who you truly are. My name is uh, Tore Johannesen. I am from Norway and I'm a Norwegian, but I'm actually working in Northern Thailand and also in Myanmar, towards Myanmar. Uh, I want to share a vision that I have. And, uh, and the vision for a website I have called Good News for the Broken Hearts. Uh, I want to share my heart with you today and, and, and share what, what this, this is all about. Since I was in uh, my teenage year, I have had a vision and it's the helping to restore those who have broken hearts and broken lives. And those who have feel, uh, feel that their life has no worth and uh, that feel they have no value uh, uh, the feeling of rejection and so on. I actually think that the experience of rejection is one of those things that we, most of us, have experienced in our lives. Since the beginning of uh, my twenties I've started, um, I started to teach the Bible. I, I'm a Bible teacher and I started to teach the Bible uh, in my early twenties. Uh, and it, this has been on my heart. Uh, to help the brokenhearted, to, to, to see the brokenhearted, that there is good news for the brokenhearted. And it, it has been actually, I've been teaching this uh, also for like, in, in my teaching you can find it in many ways, but I haven't really have a specific focus on it. I also have another website called bibleteachings.com and I also have a, a website in Norwegian and I've done teaching for quite some while. But actually, I haven't uh, had a ministry around it or focus around it. But but uh, this is actually in my now I'm in the in the in my forties, end of my forties. But it's really, really on my heart to really even in the more specifically reach out to those who have a broken heart. And and sure, I have been part of it already. Uh, I am actually working amongst um, a people group called the Shan people from Myanmar. Uh, I've been working among them um, since 2000 um, and many of them have experienced this. They've experienced a broken heart, they've experienced a broken life, they've experienced a lot of rejection uh, and we have been helping, actually I've been part of, of, um, of ministry that have reaching out to the Shan and helping them uh, and give them a better life, give them a better, better future, helping children and so on. Uh, so I've been a part of that for many, many years. And the situation for the Shan people, that I, and the people I'm working for, that I often have fled from the home country uh, because of civil war or because of poverty. Uh, but I believe in the gospel. The gospel means good news. And it's good news for the poor. Uh, it's good news, as, as Jesus said, he came to give, to give a good news for the poor. Um, and I believe in, in the good news. That, that the gospel, the, 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 the message that the Bible have is good news. Good news for, for the brokenhearted. It's good news for all of us. Uh, also in January 2016, I got married to a Shan woman from this people group I'm working among called the Shan people from Myanmar. Uh, it has been my focus to reach out to especially this people group called the Shan people, but also other people from Myanmar, but especially the Shan people. Uh, and I also discovered when I got married, ma married that my wife, wife had some of the same vision as I had to restore, to be a part of restoring the broken hearts. She herself has experienced rejection both from family and friends but also infidelity uh, and being totally abandoned by a former uh, husband with two young, young children, two young girls. But God has restored her in many ways. Even before we got married, God has uh, been in the process of restoring her. Oh, I also seen that many root problems of many sins oh, that people are struggling with, even if, if it comes to uh, addiction or misuse of alcohol or drugs and things like that. And that's also, also many, many shun people, many people I've been working among and helping, and I had this struggle. And it has been my heart and it has been my question, how can I help them? How can I see that people that are struggling with those things are being free? Uh, I myself too have uh, some experience of rejection in my life. 
And God, God, has, God has also led me through a healing process over the past 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. Uh, amongst other things, I had a sickness for over 10 years. I had all kind of allergies. Uh, I had headaches, dizziness, and insomnia. And the worst thing was, was that I couldn't breathe probably, pro properly. <laughs> and no doctors or no medication could help me. I, and I found out that all the physical problem that I had had a connection. It had a connection with fear, fear of rejection, uh, and anxiety, an experience of rejection and of a broken heart. Because I had, had this experience, this actually influenced my immune system and it made all of these this physical symptoms too. So I, I saw that the, the, a broken heart can lead to many things, many bad things in our lives. And God has restored me. God has healed my broken heart in so many ways. And that's my testimony too. And that's why I want to reach out to people with broken hearts so that they can be restored, both physically and, and but, but also mentally in, in, in their way of thinking. Oh, and, and the greatest revelation I had, which healed me and set me free, and, uh, and it relates to this, this vision that I have to, to really restore the broken hearts, or to discover my true identity as a son of God. That was maybe the one thing that really, really helped me and healed me and restored my heart. I also realized that I was not all my bad actions, my behavior, uh, but that I had a, um, but all of it had a connection with a bad programming in, uh, up here <laughs> in my thoughts. I, I didn't believe the writing about myself, who I am, who I was. But when I got this revelation, who I am, I managed to start accepting myself and love myself the way God wants us to. And I also started to start to see how God has created me to be more and more. And that's the thing that will set you free. That's the thing that will heal your heart, is to, to actually see who God has created us to be. Uh, I also have a part of part, uh, part um, one more part of this uh, kind of introduction to this uh, this website, this this vision and this ministry uh, to reach out to the uh, to the broken hearts. Uh, so I, I will I will say something more about what I want to teach, what I want to tell you, uh, and I, I will I will regularly regularly have some teaching on the internet. Um, I was already had that have that in Norwegian. But I will also do that on uh, on this website, goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com, goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com, and I will I will put out some teaching there. As from uh, uh, 2017, my family and I have started a ministry, and I've been working with the Shan people, as I said, for almost 20 years. But uh, and I've worked with a fruitful ministry too that I've helped to reach out to the Shan people. Uh, but uh, recently also we have felt that we wanted to even have a greater focus of reaching out to, to the most disadvantaged and having a concrete focus on people with broken hearts, to have a spe specific focus on this. I don't know of many ministries who really have that. There are some, some, some ministries, like Father Heart Ministries and so, and so on, but I, I believe that there is not so many who, who have a concrete focus on this one. But I think it's, it's essential. I think it's very important and it's so essential. So, uh, so I, I have my focus. My, my main focus is maybe on people from Norway and also people from from the from the Shan people, which are working among. But I, I really want everyone to hear this thing. I want everyone to to be to be restored back to who they truly are. That is my vision. To see that everyone is uh, uh, having a revelation of who they are who they truly are created to be. You are created in the image of God. And, and, uh, and God wants you to discover that. And that is some of my, my vision that everybody will, will see. And that's my vision with, with this website too, that people will see how valuable they are, they are how, 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 uh, how, uh, how elected they are, <laughs> chosen by Him. You are chosen by Him. And you are loved by Him. You are loved by God. And so, so it's not only the Shan people, but it's, 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 it's actually the, 
all of, all of you who are listening to, to this, coming into this, uh, uh, this website or, or listening to this video, uh, I want everybody to, 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 get, to get this, to understand this, who they are, finding back to who God created you to be. And I believe the basic things for most problem in our lives comes actually from a broken heart. Condemnation, shame, and guilt, and lack of knowledge of our... Uh, it's actually a lack of knowledge of our true identity. Those things come because we have a lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge of our true identity. And they are closely connected. A broken heart and condemnation and shame and guilt and fear and, and things like that, they are all connected. Actually, we believe that helping to restore the brokenhearted and lives can change a whole nation or nations. Even in the rich part of the world, people are struggling with loneliness, depression, and anxiety, fear, fear of rejection, uh, and many even struggle with suicidal thoughts, which often comes from one or more negative experiences in, experiences in life, and it mainly is connected to fear, rejection, and a broken heart. And they're struggling with these things because they don't see their true identity, who they are truly created to be. But also, in, in the end of this video, I just want to specifically tell you what we are doing. Uh, we, we do online teaching. I do it in Norwegian uh, and English. And also, we are starting up to, to do it in Shan with, with my wife. wife, she's doing it in Shan also. And I'm doing some in Shan also. But we also seek and visit those who have a difficult life, who, ha who has a difficult life, and talking with them, have con a conversation with them. And we pray for them and encourage those who experience a difficult life and a broken life. Uh, we help uh, children and youth who are refugees or immigrants from Myanmar and teaching them languages like um, such as English and Thai and Shan and also about the love of God and about identity, who they are, who God created us and so on. We have a, at the moment uh, when I'm uh, recording this, uh, we have uh, set uh, schooling, sc uh, teaching or schools on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and we have started also up uh, house uh, fellowship and house churches among the Shan people. So mostly we, we, we work among the Shan people, uh, so we are doing that, that, that's something concrete that we do, physically that we do. But the online thing is, is something I want everybody to take a part of, be a part of. And our vision is to do this more too. We'll have, both have more schools and, and for children and also, and also Bible schools for adults with this focus, to restore the broken heart. And I already have some focus on the internet. I have a, a Bible school on the internet in, in Norwegian. Uh, I had it for actually almost 10 years, um, but, uh, but I really want to, to see this more physical too. Uh, and I want to uh, physically locate it in another Thailand or, or even in Myanmar. I want to see it also in Myanmar with the Shan people and, and also other people groups in Myanmar. But uh, my focus, uh, our, our focus first is, is, is the Shan people, but there is also many other people groups in Myanmar and, uh, and I want to reach out to them too. Um, and we do this also through Facebook and YouTube and, and, and the internet. We're using, using uh, those uh, tools to reach out. In the end too, I, I also want to say this, that if you want to uh, follow us, follow, follow the ministry we are doing, uh, please feel free to receive our newsletters, news email newsletters, and you can subscribe it on our website, uh, Good News for Broken Hearts. Uh, dot com, and you, you can find a link there. And it's, it's also possible to, to get updates, updates when I have new teaching on this website. Uh, we also have, um, we also are in need of financial, fi financial support for our ministry. And this is a way you also can help us, help us to reach out with this message, good news for the brokenhearted. This is one way you can help us to, 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 to reach them, to help us to reach them. And, and feel free to give us a, a donation or give us a, a gift, a financial gift and support. 
and you can do it by by pay 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 PayPal <laughs> PayPal and you can find a link also on our website bibleteachings.com or uh, goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com you can find it there so please feel free to to do that please please feel free to use pay, PayPal and you also are welcome to visit us out here if you, if you would like to and you can contact me if you should want to do that we're also looking for more people or groups or churches that can partner with us in in this in reaching out to the people with broken hearts and i also have a, another kind of a ministry under this ministry is good news for the shan people good news for the shan so we want to tell the good news for the shan people so you can be a part of that helping us to reach out to the Shan people and reaching out to the people with broken hearts. God bless you.